Okay, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to our weekly briefing for this week. Uh, Matt Senna. Some of our highlights, um, fire danger conditions today. Um, we're looking at uh, relative humidities across much of north and central Georgia dropping uh, to 25% or lower. Uh, luckily, we don't have the winds we had yesterday although we will be a little breezy. Uh, we also are uh, likely to see high fire danger conditions again on Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. And the potential is there for those conditions to persist into at least the first half of next week. We'll see uh, uh, graphics coming up here on uh, some of the details for today and Saturday at least. Uh, we're also looking at some cold morning lows this weekend. Uh, well below normal temperatures coming in after we get a cold front through again tomorrow. And with that cold front tomorrow, we do have a chance for some scattered thunderstorms. Taking a look at the big picture uh, today, you can see the storm system starting to get developed across the upper Midwest and the front range of the Rockies. That's what's going to be bringing our uh, chance for some showers and thunderstorms in tomorrow. Uh, as we move into Friday, you can see the front is approaching. Uh, right now, uh, they're confining the area for potential severe weather to the lower Mississippi Valley area, uh, ma mainly along the warm front with this system. And then by Saturday, that front has pushed well into Florida, drying us out and uh, bringing cooler temperatures. Uh, for the rest of the upcoming week, we see high pressure dominates the area. Uh, it stays dry. Uh, we have uh, no precipitation in the forecast after tomorrow. Uh, we do have another front coming through Saturday, um, excuse me, Sunday into Monday, uh, but that is expected to come through without any precipitation associated uh, due to the, the just lack of moisture across the area. Give it an idea of what we're looking at on trends for the upcoming week. Uh, North Georgia and the higher elevations, uh, we start off uh, below normal all the way through the weekend. You can see over uh, the weekend, Saturday and Sunday morning, uh, down into the low to mid 30s, uh, at least for lows. We do slowly cry, climb back towards normal as we get through the upcoming week. Uh, the one chance the, for, for precipitation that we do have is that uh, system tomorrow. Uh, pretty good uh, uh, chance for at least some showers up north and a slight chance at least for some thunderstorms. Uh, the rest of North Georgia outside of the higher elevations, uh, we see that uh, chance for rain tomorrow. And again, below normal temperatures through the weekend, slowly climbing to at or maybe even a little above normal by the end of next week. And then down across central Georgia, a much lower chance that system should be dying out as it pushes into central Georgia, mainly tomorrow evening. Um, and temperatures fairly cool through the weekend, below normal at least, and then climbing back up towards normal as we get to the end of uh, the upcoming work week. Taking a look at the high fire danger for today, a uh, large chunk of north and central Georgia should see relative humidities dropping below 25%. Fuel moistures are dried out. Um, leads to at least a increase fire danger across the region. Get a little bit of a break tomorrow with the increased cloud cover, a little bit of moisture uh, sweeping back up ahead of the upcoming system uh, and the rain across the north uh, by, by around midday. But as we get into Saturday behind the cold front, the dry air settles back in and we're looking at, uh, again, large portion of north and central Georgia. Uh, at or below 25% for uh, relative humidities in the afternoon. 
Saturday morning uh, behind this front. Uh, pretty cold temperatures for this time of year. Uh, looking at low 30s across the far north, especially the higher elevations of the far north. It has prompted a freeze watch for Saturday morning uh, across uh, the counties up north with uh, some of the higher elevations. And into Sunday morning, uh, very similar temperatures, uh, maybe a degree or two warmer. We have to keep an eye on that. Uh, may actually have some more freezing temperatures in the mountains as we go into Sunday morning as well. Taking a look at our chances for severe weather, very minimal and pretty much confined till tomorrow. Uh, this is the day one today, no thunderstorms expected in the, uh, in the area. As we get into tomorrow, right now, uh, Storm Prediction Center has general thunder into the western and southwestern portions of the area. That is certainly the area with the better chance uh, with the front tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening, we will see a line of uh, fairly vigorous showers with that, with some isolated thunder along that line. And I think really anywhere in north and central Georgia could see an isolated thunderstorm with that line. Uh, right now, we're not seeing a very high chance for anything severe. Uh, but some of these storms could bring some local conditions, uh, gusts up to 40 miles an hour, some brief uh, periods of frequent lightning. And it's not impossible we see some small hail, maybe pee up to about the size of nickel. Um, Timing-wise, you can see it moves into the northwest uh, by midday and moves across the northwest during the afternoon. Uh, moves into roughly the I-85 corridor. Um, the Athens, Atlanta, and even down towards the Columbus metropolitan area late afternoon into the early evening, uh, and then continues weakening, but probably stays together uh, through the evening into our far southeastern counties. Um, again, confidence on anything you know borderline or strong is low uh, to, to medium. Uh, it'll be mainly showers along that front, but we will see some gusty winds and some some isolated thunderstorm activity to uh, scattered along that line. Saturday, we're not seeing any chances uh, for any adverse weather, and again, Sunday and really through next week, we're not uh, we're not showing any thunderstorm chances. Precipitation-wise, uh, we've had a couple of days of some showers and even a few isolated thunderstorms across the north, but they haven't brought much rain, generally a quarter of an inch or less each day. Um, we do still have a couple of uh, rivers that are at least at bank full. Um, the Ogeechee around Midville, uh, the uh, Oconee uh, in the Mount Vernon area and down uh, downstream. Uh, the Okmulgee from Abbeville on down to the, uh, the confluence with the Oconee uh, are at or a little above bankful right now. Uh, you get to where all that comes together. We form the Altamaha and the Charlottesville and Baxley gauges are still uh, above flood. Uh, all this is obviously due to the rain we've gotten over the past uh, several weeks finally draining down into that area with no significant additional rain. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of these uh, continue to, uh, to fall. The rainfall forecast, we're looking at dry conditions today. Uh, rain with that line of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow, uh, generally about a quarter to a half an inch uh, at best across the north. Obviously, you could see some isolated amounts a little higher. And that line is expected to weaken as it moves southeast through the area into the evening. Uh, so generally a quarter of an inch or less as we get farther down southeast into the area. And Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, 
uh, we're looking at dry conditions. Little peak beyond the next seven days uh, for the week after that. Uh, climatologically, we're looking at uh, the trends indicating we're heading back a little bit more above normal for both temperatures and rainfall. In summary, primary concern today is that high fire danger conditions across a large portion of the area. Uh, that continues again on Saturday and shows the potential to persist at least into the first half of next week. Uh, we got the uh, cold morning lows over the weekend, especially across the far north where we could see temperatures uh, at or even a little below freezing. And uh, we do have the potential for some scattered, isolated to scattered thunderstorms at least uh, tomorrow uh, afternoon into the evening as a cold front sweeps through the area.